Critical Me here, checking in. We saw the spy who dumped oh, me no. <laughs> out on Redbox. I How don't, did I know you were doing this to me? <laughs> I don't know how long this one was in the theater, but... A week? <laughs> it was in there. So, looking at a comedy, this one just, I was kind of like, So I said, all right, let's watch it. And uh, we did. We seen it. Um, everyone knows spy movies. So, you know, the cast was interesting enough to see uh, how they were going to portray this role. Um, I don't think there was any nominations here. Um, I think you're wrong. Really? Yeah. What was the nominate? What do you think was not that someone was nominated for? I have no idea. Maybe the music or the the action, the sound effects it editing. Could be. The worst songs on the jukebox. They were, yeah. they were awesome. Yeah, could That's be. true. Uh, so for story, you know, we've seen spy movies done several different ways. Um, I feel like they did it a little bit outside of the box. Um, you know, Mia Kunis as the action star with her with her co partner. Kristen Wiig, right? No. Nope. It was the blonde girl no. from Ghost, the new Ghostbusters. I can't okay. remember her name. Fair enough. Not Kristen Wiig. All right. Well. <laughs> Kristen Wiig was in downsizing that I was taking a little watch at. Yes, yes. You have to be as, we that one as well. <laughs> yes. Um. Anyway, so this story, I'm gonna say a five. For the story. Look, the pen won't even write that. <laughs> it is. It's, it's, it's like that story is not worth a five. Um, I mean, the story was predictable. It, it, I'm not saying there was anything wrong with the action or anything, but the story was definitely predictable. Um, Four. And uh, what do you think of the entertainment value? I mean, there was definitely some funny things in there, and definitely things the girl that Kristen Wiig apparently, um, definitely things that she said and did that I related to as a girl, right? With our friends, some of the things they say, some of the things they do, you know, those diehard friends you have, um, they were entertaining in that regard. Their interactions were, it was entertaining. I'll give it a five. I could definitely tell you were entertained for sure. Um, this girl, I don't want to say this is a, a girl movie. I mean, you can enjoy watching it, you know, with somebody who's going to enjoy it and go along with the ride. But she definitely laughed more than me at a lot of the women, female innuendos. Could relate to the characters. I feel like, um, you know your relationship with your friends you could relate to it Absolutely. so you know and I liked seeing that you know it pulled that part out of you made you think about your friends and reminisce so this is a movie that you you know if you're out I guess with your friends it's probably one that you'd want to see with them and you could be entertained and laugh and joke and mm -hmm. whatnot um, I'm gonna give it a four for yeah. the entertainment value. Yeah, um, because I actually love you know well y'all don't know I love action movies I I do like that kind of movie. So, they, they tried. They tried. They tried. Performance. I don't know. I thought that they, the way they cast it and whatnot, uh, Mia Kunis, they performed, you know, to, I don't want to say the best of their ability with, the, with what they had to work with. So, I'm not going to, I don't think the performances necessarily fell flat. They didn't try doing a bunch of crazy action to try to make it look like, you know, they were doing these things. It was the way they went about and did this. And I thought they did well with it. I'm going to say a six for performance. Yeah, no, performances weren't bad. And they definitely had chemistry, those two, you know, the two yeah. female um, characters. There were some times where I thought it went a little overboard. You know, sometimes. Um, I think I'll give it a, let's give it a five. Can I give it a 5.5? Am I allowed to do decimals? No. Nope. Okay. Six it is. 
artistry? Um, you know, they got to go to a bunch of places in Europe. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, when they signed up on the bill to do this movie, there was, like, a lot of different uh, countries, cities in Europe, it seemed like, that they kind of went to. I feel like they did a good job with it. Um, not a lot of period piece or anything, again, that they were creating. Um, but I feel like for the action, they did, a, they did a decent job for what they had to work with. So I'm going to say a six again. Yeah, no, I like the artistry. I honestly, I think they did. They shot at some really cool locations and um, just the scenes. Some of the action scenes were really good. The car, you know, the car chases and, and there were some good, there were some good scenes in there. I'm going to go a little higher. I'm going to go seven. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, the vibe, what'd you think? I mean, like you said, I probably giggled a little more than you at, at the silliness of it and, and the comments, um, just relating more so to my friends and some of the things they would say. Um, five. Go five. I'm going to say the same thing. I didn't fall asleep, but I definitely wasn't on the edge of my seat with the action, you know, with the suspense and everything like that. They tried. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, a spy who dumped me. You know, it's an interesting title. Um, it's like sometimes you want to see the movies. How would they come up with this? Um, I think this is a girls' night out movie. Uh, you want to have some wine or some drinks and laugh and giggle and see something entertainment that's an action that you can kind of poke fun at. This is that ideal movie, I would say. Yeah. I mean, there's some awe moments, like shock and awe moments, laugh. Yeah, it's good. I mean, see it. Get some of your friends together. Check it out. Yep. On Redbox, the spy 